Meet Ethan. He's like any other teenager. Oh, except he has his own TV show. Now there's so many great things you can do out here. And today he's joining me on the couch to chat all about it. My show is called Off the Couch with Ethan um, and it's a travel type program all about trying to get young people and their families off the couch and uh, into the great outdoors to go and see all the great places that uh, Australia has to offer. You film, yep. you present, yes. you edit, yes. you do everything. Uh, it's pretty much a one man show. <laughs> I, I say that, but I have had a lot of help and support from so many people that have, you know, been there every step of the way. This used to be the sea floor back when Australia was underwater. Channel 44 have really kickstarted my, you know, career and my passion into the media industry. Um, they've given me this tremendous platform to show off my work. They've really given me the opportunity to experience what it's like to be involved in the TV industry because I always say that Channel 44 is a bit like the learner's plates of TV and a lot of people, myself included, start off at community TV before they go into you know, more commercial stations. Channel 44 is a community TV station that broadcasts in Adelaide. Melbourne has one too, C31 which is full of local TV shows and movies, and of course, the strangely popular fish can. In fact, there used to be community stations right around the country. They were set up in the 90s, when the government decided to give a spare channel, UHF 31, to not-for-profit groups that wanted to give local content makers a chance to get their stuff out there on the box. Over the years, they've helped to launch the careers of some famous Aussies, like Hamish and Andy and Peter Hellier. Everyone's become MacGyver. But in 2014, community broadcasters were told they had to give up their space on the broadcast spectrum. TV channels are broadcast using certain frequencies of radio waves, just like radio and 4G and Wi-Fi. But there's a limited number of frequencies. And it's up to the government to decide who gets what. The government said it wanted to use the extra channel to test new technologies or even make space for new TV stations. It led to community stations in Sydney, Brisbane and Perth closing down. That's good. And did you edit it? As for Adelaide and Melbourne, they managed to extend their contracts for a few more years. But now they've been told they'll be switched off at midnight on the 30th of June. And while the station will continue online, they say it just won't be the same. It'll be the end of community television in Australia. It's been a thing since 1994 and has been a really good boosting place and a platform for many industry people. We lose that, we lose the ability for anybody to produce content, we lose the ability for people to have a ladder into the industry. And essentially, I think it's going to be a really sad loss if it does come to this. E-Man and many others are still hoping the government might have a last-minute change of mind, and they're getting a lot of support from their viewers. Look, thanks for calling. Um, I'll pass on your words, all right? As for Ethan, he says he'll continue to make TV, no matter what. I won't lie, I'm pretty upset. I'm, I really am. Like, been airing my shows on there for two years now. If it did go through and the station closed down, I mean, I'll have, I guess I'll move my work online. So the future of Off the Couch with Ethan is definitely still strong. I've, you know, I've got, I've got big dreams and I feel like I can go out and achieve them. So, yeah, I mean, stick around. You, you never know where you might see me next. <laughs> <laughs>